if you look at conversations the world over today, for example, the FAO has just published the future of food and agriculture, trends and challenges. Then uh, Bazinga and uh, Ritamom et al. recently spoke to the bipartisan Congress in the US and made a compelling evidence for the need for innovations. Innovations is the key terminology in the world today. Without innovation, we cannot move forward. Where do we find innovations? In research institutions, in universities. Mr. Vice Chancellor, honorable ministers, we have to finish this building in one year. And I believe that the conversations at this meeting will allow us to finish this building. It's one of the World Bank projects that we have embarked. We can finish brick and mortar, but after brick and mortar, we have to equip it to world-class standards. And I tell you, we will. If Ghana does not help us, we will seek support from elsewhere. But I believe Ghana will want to be part of this project because Ghana should lead by example in Africa that Ghana has one of the best centers in the world. So I look up to my honorable ministers. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, um, we, we have developed a sustainability plan. We have to do it. We have a strategic plan. We have an endowment fund we want to launch today. I'm delighted that the Honorable Minister of Finance has agreed to launch the endowment fund. We are looking at models for taking our work forward. We are looking at a research intensive center where we'll have key professors who will bring in funds so that they can recruit students so WACI will be sustainable. We are looking at a resource mobilization and communication strategy and we are developing a compelling case for to African governments and to developing partners for investments. But underneath all this is our commitment to excellence. We believe this is what is going to pull partners to us. <laughs> <laughs>